Hello. Oh my God, I just hit that note. Okay, I got a bunch of makeup both sent to me and I purchased a ton. So I thought I would do an updated makeup routine for you guys. Kind of run you guys through a little bit of what we got going on. First things first, um, I am obsessed with this new Fenty Skin Hydrovisor Invisible Moisturizer with SPF 30. I love this stuff. It smells like heaven. I'm obsessed, you guys, with Rare Beauty. It's kind of my go-to right now. I swear by their light tinted moisturizer as my base. I swear by it. Now, did I order the right shade is what we're going to find out. Oh God. Let's see, this looks a little bit like not my color. Oh, I know that's good. Yeah, okay, that's good. It looks kind of light. I was afraid it would be too orangey, but it actually, because it's not a full coverage foundation, it's a tinted moisturizer, it actually blends out pretty nicely. Oh, that's a lot. Eee, I just wasted so much product. Around the eyeballs doesn't have to be perfect so this is a problem of like doing it with like a small mirror is you can't actually see what you're doing and then i put it down the neck i haven't self tanned in a little bit so this is like my shade ish so this is just kind of an all over look boom even out the skin tone it doesn't match exactly but we'll get over it concealer also rare beauty let's see how this color matches because i didn't look i just guessed that's good. We love that. That's gorgeous. I got something in my eyeball, and so if my eye starts twitching, I'm actually gonna right across my eyeball lids. Um, I use like the same brush for everything, but you probably should not do that. This is just, I'm showing you how I do it, but this is not the correct way to do it, if that makes any sense to you guys. Look at what I got. I got a scalp massager. When you use it in the shower, it's supposed to help with hair growth, but how funky is that? I'm dying to know how this is. I got this Charlotte Tilsbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I like to do setting spray between all of my freaking steps. I know. Now we're gonna do a little bit of a contour. <gasps> oh my god, the, <sighs> the AC turned on. I'm so sorry. <laughs> my door closed because the AC turned on. That scared me so bad. What I do is I take a little. Eek. This is how bad of a makeup artist I am. I take the same exact brush and I'm just gonna see how that blends right out. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Oh, that's really nice, actually. With that setting spray over it, I like that. What do you think on this side? Yeah. And then I do a little bit on my foreheads. Doop -doop. And I'm gonna look a little bit orange for a little bit, but just ignore that I completely don't match the rest of my body because, yeah, we're gonna pretend that I do. So now for my nose, I like to just go right underneath see that and then i blend it out and then i do a little bit oh that was too high okay it's fine because it blends out so easy I just kind of like to do it across the bridge of my nose how's that look good okay Woo! this i got uh, Charlotte Tilsbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder. God, that's a mouthful. Okay. Like, normally I just use, like, this one's the L'Oreal. Like, I just... Oh, that's... <gasps> I see you guys. Oh, pretty. Let's hope that this is, like, a good... I actually really like that finish on it. Ooh, I like this. I like to just, honestly, I slap it all over my face because my problem is that my makeup moves. My makeup never stays on, ever. So when I powder, I just like, I fling that shit everywhere. And as you see, this kind of lightens up our harsh contour a little bit. A little bit. Very pretty, very pretty. I approve of this. I like. Normally I would like, do all this too. But I gotta say my room is like 80 degrees right now and I'm sweating. So I just don't even have 
the energy for it. Actually, I'm gonna wait to spray the final face look because I'm gonna just go in. I use the Too Faced um, bronzer. Smells like chocolate, tastes like chocolate. I don't recommend eating it, but it does. I'm just here to tell you guys that. So I'm gonna take a little brush and I'm just really gonna... Now see how terrible that looks? I know. Just hold everyone's horses, okay? But horses, keep them held for a sec, because we're gonna blend. I really just back that in, and then it kind of, it blends out pretty nice. Apply. To really make sure there's no like circles, I just like, same brush as earlier. What I actually do next, so I take a brush, a fluffy, and this is like all up to you. Like I just really like a good nose because I hate my nose. So I go right back over that contour that we did earlier. And then I really just want it to be like, just a little, yeah. Now I'm really just gonna, perfection. Oh, rare beauty blush, you guys. This is the definition of a little goes a long way. If you've used it, you know. I actually, I'm gonna use the same brush because I think it's gonna blend nicely. But quite literally, like that's all you need. I'm so serious, that is all you need. It really just like, okay, well maybe a little more. Than... Sorry, I didn't mean to lie to you guys, but I did. Oh, that's too much. Okay, I knew the second I did it. So what we're gonna do is take this. Oh, lift. Oh, oh, this is a death. Okay. But you know what Bob Ross said? There's no mistakes. There's only happy accidents. And this is looking like a happy, happy, happy accident. So we're just really gonna spread it out. As you can see, it really does blend out nicely. However, yeah, just gonna cover that back up. Don't worry. I put a little bit on my nose. Nothing we can't fix. I'm gonna go back in with that powder to really just hopefully save this. Otherwise, we're gonna start over. Going over it with the powder should like really tone it down. If you guys wanna know what I'm listening to in my headphones. <gasps> Fucking hell, it's in my hair. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, no, it's fine. Boom, we're good. It's toned down. It'll tone down throughout the day, okay? That's the moral of the story. It will, it, it will tone down a little. Before we spray the face, I just got sent this Fenty Beauty um, highlighter and I want to use the really sparkly one and see how that turns out for me. If you guys don't know what I'm listening to, I'm listening to Sabrina Carpenter as always. We're gonna, oh, oh wow. Can you see it in the camera? We're glowing. We're glowing. Okay, time to spray, 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 spray and pray that it stays because it never does. And it's not the makeup's fault, it's, it's my face. God, that's nice. Now we have our face done. What I would like to go to next is my brows. And you guys are gonna laugh, but I'm stuck in 2015. I still use Anastasia Beverly Hills brow dip. Cause what, what else is there? What else would I use? This is perfect. So I just take a little bit of this. I, I line under. I like dark brows. I won't be told otherwise. You guys can laugh, you can say like, oh, Sharpie brows, I know. Sorry, but I just, I can't move faster. I'm stuck. I tried the soap brow thing. It was a terrible look on me. I wish I could keep up with the trends, but I just can't. Cool. There's one brow. Let's do the others. I've said it before. I will say it again. My eyebrows are not twins. They're not sisters. They're cousins. They are not the same shape. They're not, <sighs> they're not anything. This could be a video on what not to do. I'm not even joking. I just want you guys to know also that this is my third time trying to film this. The first time that I filmed it, I didn't have a shade that matched me. Well, some would say I still don't. Also guys, I'm like, I always have like a bag here. It looks like my makeup is fucked up, but I have like an under eye bag that's like swollen right there. I don't know what the fuck's going on. But I looked like the annoying orange, that talking orange. I looked 
so bad. It was, it was honestly, it was terrible. And then the second time I started and then I was like, you know what, I'm getting new makeup in two days. Why would I not wait? Now, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite parts is to do my eyeshadow. So a flush, a flush, a fluffy brush. Jeez, I'm gonna take it in the Smarty Pants shade and then rocker. The light brown, it's a really pretty, neutral shade that I'm going to put in the crease of my eyelid and I'm just going to blend that out as much as I can and then I'm going to do the same thing on this eyeball okay so now I'm going to take like an angled brush and I'm going to go into jet setter up here and I'm going to put it in the crease but just more like right in that corner oh bam now I'm going to take a blending brush and Boo -boo -boo. Very pretty color. So as you can see, it just adds a little bit of a dimension right on this eyeball compared to this one. So we're just gonna hop into Jet Setter again and do the same thing. Now I'm gonna take this bah, 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 bah. that brush, this dark one. It's called Leader. This dark brown right here. I'm gonna take just a little tiny bit and do just a finer amount. And then I'm actually just gonna flip it and just blend that out with the side. Okay, see how it adds a little. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this eyeball. Now I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush, throw all of it together. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Pretty. I'm gonna go in with Flower Child, this really light color, with my hand, and I'm gonna do inner corner no actually the the lid sorry not the inner corner i'm gonna do the lid also i know it looks crazy give me two seconds i gotta blend now just go. boom and then i'm gonna actually go back to my highlighter and i'm gonna take that that shimmer lighter or darker side but just with like more shine and i'm actually just gonna pat that into the corner of the eyelid add a little bit of shimmer and shine. I don't know if you guys can see it on this camera, but there, it's there. <laughs> Sorry, it doesn't look like it though. Here it comes again, guys. Oh, I fudged up. This is my only eyeliner. <laughs> look at the bristles on it. They're like out in a circle. We're gonna do our best with what we got here. I'm gonna take this and go straight out, see? From the center and go straight line. I'm gonna take this up to meet it. You saw nothing. Okay, if your eyeliner gets that bad, cut some bangs and you can cover it. See? If you don't have bangs, then go ahead and take your concealer because we gotta cover that bitch up. Okay, so see how we just really pat that bitch up. Okay, so this one from a uh, everyday look to a dramatic wing, that's fine. Now we're gonna do the same dramatic wing that we were trying to do that whole time on the other side. This is so hard to do into a camera. Boom! So now we have some eyeliner on. Now what I'm gonna do is take my eyelash curler. And I always skip this part because I was like, not like it makes a difference. It makes a difference. On your eyeball, I get as close as possible without hurting myself. You don't want to pinch the eyelid skin. And then just some pressure. Please don't push too hard. Do not rip out your lashes, you guys. I've seen people literally rip out lashes. So I do that a couple of times. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I have yet to find, I think I can never find an actual mascara that I like. Right now I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Original. So I'm just gonna take it. I really just like to, I like to get in there and I like to really blink it down. But yeah, if you guys in the comments have any lash, um, or I guess mascara suggestions. Please let me know. I'm dying to know. I want to know. Pretty straightforward, just mascara. I don't do anything crazy. I wish I had bigger lashes, but as you can see, mascara really throws a look together. Like, I feel like I already look like a different person. Shout out to mascara for existing. I'll be like, now for the bottom, sometimes it really depends on the day. Sometimes I do, like a nice 
eyeliner is what I really like. Today, for like a more neutral look, I'm actually gonna do it with eyeshadow. I'm gonna take that leader and just like with like a really thin brush, just go right under. What? Okay, this is the face that girls make when they do the makeup. I can't explain it, guys. When you're focusing on a look, you're like, like, I get my wrinkles. For some reason, when I do my mascara or my eyeshadow, my mouth has to be open. So I did underneath, and I'm just gonna take mascara and lightly coat my under eyelashes. I just take my hairpin out. It's got more mascara. I'm gonna need to take a shower after this. Contrary to popular belief, you shower after your makeup because you get so much in your hair. Fun fact. So that is my eyeballs. Now I'm gonna try my lippies. I'm so excited. This is the Charlotte Tillsbury. This is the Lip Cheat Liner. This is in the shade Pillow Talk. I like to overline my lips because, oh my God, Brittany B doesn't have any upper lip. We know. So I really like to go, yeah. oh yeah. Oh, this is smooth. Oh, I love that. See that? One time I did this and my cousin, she goes, did you get your lips done? They look so good. And I said, no. <laughs> uh, wow, this liner is like really nice. Oh my God. I've never used Charlotte Tillsbury liner before, but hello. Now I actually want to take this new Benetint. And this is like a stain, so you gotta be careful. But I think I'm gonna go. This can be fixed. We're gonna go back in. Um, yeah, okay. Ah. Uh. Then we're gonna take, this is the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Instant and Long-Term Lip Plumper. Men, if you're watching, or ladies, whoever you are smooching, make sure that they don't have lip plumper on because you will not like the way that it feels if you're not expecting it. It is gonna burn, it is gonna tingle, but hopefully your lips will look gorgeous. Yeah. My mouth instantly started drooling. This is not the normal one that I use, it. Oh! Okay, this one hurts. So I'm gonna tie my cheeks into this because... So that way, see how that like ties the look together better? Like that's really pretty. That's really pretty, I like that a lot. My freckles! This is the Lime Crime Freckle Pen in Cocoa. What I do is I can see I have a mole there. I like to... Ooh. For my freckles, what I do is I make sure that this is good and then I go boom, 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 boom. See? And then I just hit it with the hand so it really lightens them up. More natural when you like actually like don't just straight draw them, just like tap it after to like, I can't even see. I wish you guys could see the freckles because in person you can really see them. Uh, but I don't know. I don't think you guys can see them too well. But this is kind of the final look. I tried a bunch of new products today. Some we will keep, some we will get rid of, but I honestly, I feel pretty, pretty good about this overall look. This is just kind of like my everyday go-to. I want to try doing some more fun stuff. So let me know in the comments if you like it, if you want to see more of this content from me, and I will be sure to see you guys on the next video, okay? Thank you guys for hanging out.